They ask us, why don't we celebrate Christmas? Why can't we have a Christmas tree? Why can't we do this and we do that? And to this we respond, Allah has made different people upon different religions. And each person should follow his own religion, especially when they believe this religion is right. Yes, we tolerate other beliefs and we allow others to believe as they want to believe. Islam does not force anybody to believe anything. But we do believe in the truth that Allah is one. That every religion has its own days of celebration, its own holy days. Buddhists don't celebrate festivals of Islam. So we don't celebrate Buddhist festivals. Christians don't celebrate the, the, the festivals of the other religions like Zoroastrianism and Hinduism. And similarly, we as Muslims, we do not celebrate the holy days of other religions because by celebrating those holy days, it's as if we are celebrating the concept behind the holy day. Regardless of whether this is about Santa Claus or presents or trees, at the core of it, the celebration is about the birth of Jesus. The idea is we're celebrating the birth of our savior, someone whose birth and then his life and his eventual sacrifice led to the sins of humanity being cleansed. And the gift of Christian faith was given through this. This is where we fundamentally disagree. The Quran comes and says, you have hijacked the true legacy of Jesus. This is not who Jesus was. This is not why he was born. He did not come to clean you of your sins. In fact, he came to remind you of the sins you had been doing. And for many Christians, the 25th of December is the celebration of the birth of a man they call the Son of God. And we don't believe God has a son. So if we were to celebrate that day, it's as if we too are saying, oh, we believe that God has a son. And we don't believe that God has a son. And the Quran tells you, تَكَادُ السَّمَاوَاتُ Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The skies are about to rip apart because of the statement that they have uttered. Allahu Akbar. If you look at Surah Maryam, he says, how could they have said that I have a son? And they are insulting Allah by saying that Allah has a son. The earth would like to crumble and the sky would like to split because of the seriousness of that crime. And yet we want to take a gift and say, have a happy day associating partners with Allah. So we are actually taking part in the shirk. And Allah clearly mentions in Surah Al-Quran, chapter number 25, verse number 72, that they do not witness falsehood. Allah says in Surah Al-Mahindah, chapter 5, verse number 2, that do not help one another in sin and transgression. So when we wish them Merry Christmas, we are giving shahada, we are bearing witness that knows Billah, Allah begot a son on the 25th of December, or knows Billah, Allah was born on the 25th of December. So they violated his re legacy. And now there's a celebration, the roots of which are the violation of that legacy of our beloved messenger Isa salam. If somebody was celebrating lies made about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, you and I would not be participating in such a celebration. Because at the heart of it, there's a lie about a messenger of Allah. And imagine we Muslims, if we wish them Merry Christmas, we are giving shahada that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has begotten a son on the 25th of December. It is the biggest sin. That is the reason all, almost all the classical scholars, the medieval scholars, they said it is haram.